Last year, there were over three million job roles in the creative and cultural industries, and there could be more. More if we recognised and reached the full potential of what is still considered too often to be the cherry on the cake. The arts are not the cherry on the cake, they are the cake. It's the opportunity this society needs to reform itself, to replenish all parts and pockets, to stem the slide to the bottom of just about any listing that appears. It's an open goal. There's no doubt that this country could build itself up through a cultivation of the arts, through a determination to, really, to release its energies and take on the mantle, this is not too fanciful, I think, of other places and other times, Athens, Florence and others, which have transformed their societies through the arts. Why can't we? When they built the first steam engine, they didn't say, OK, we can do it, we'll stop now. They went on to create a network here and abroad with brilliant non-university workforce. Why do we stop here now in this country when it loses its theatres, its music, its dance? We are sleepwalking into permanent mediocrity and cultural institutions, once the guardians of the arts, have in crucial cases become accessories to this deterioration. Why can't the 93% of children in our state schools receive the same musical offering that the 7% in private schools take for granted? Yeah. This is shocking, unfair and wrong. It's just wrong. And what a waste. Just imagine what the talent could be released, what benefits would flow, were not only music but all of the arts given a chance to be part of the engine of growth in a country which would use its proven assets, talent, flair, cultural enterprise, to grow to its full potential. And of course this needs more investment. And of course this needs rescuing from the doldrums. But look at the way we're wasting money at the moment. We have scientific proof that art exercises the imagination and feeds us in positive, unique and lasting ways. We can't afford to ignore this. We can no longer, we can no longer just go on to cut, stint, cancel, slash. If we're to bring up generations whose minds and feelings are moulded by the best work, good teachers, multiple opportunities, then we could indeed make a brave new world. Why not? And why not start now? I beg to move. Yeah. Yeah.